Hi, I'm Ron Zulaki. Today on the Spec Show, we'll be shoring the L-shaped trench. The L-shaped trench is one of a few different intersecting trenches that you'll encounter. You may see a T, an X, or an L. And today's lesson will be on the L-shaped trench. Trench Rescue Principles and Practice to NFPA 1006 and 1670 is available in the fall of 2015. For more information, go to www.jblearning.com. The L-shaped trench is a trench that has a 90 degree turn in it. So when they're laying utilities uh, from your house out to the main connection out in the street, um, come you know, from the direction and make an elbow, or you may have a catch basin that turns you at a 90 degree turn. Uh, the very dangerous part about these intersecting trenches is what we call the inside corner. As you can see, the inside corner has two open faces, and that means that there is a very little support on that trench wall. And so that's the, the corner that always collapses on an intersecting trench. As you can see, um, we need to support both sides of the open wall of this trench. In our first panel and very first strut that we call the primary strut will be on those inside corners to keep the section of the trench that is most susceptible to collapse from caving in. After we've secured the inside corner, we will uh, expand the safety zone and, and the amount of uh, panels that are in the hole. And we will, because of the difficulty of having something to shoot the strut to on a corner or a 45 degree angle, um, we will install something called a thrust block and corner block system. As you can see, the importance of putting the corner block and thrust block system is to allow our struts to shoot to a 90 degree angle. Trench Rescue Principles and Practice to NFPA 1006 and 1670 is available in the fall of 2015. For more information, go to www.jblearning.com.